what's up gemini welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up come on in here hop on the couch kick your feet up relax and enjoy yourselves boo grab your weed blunt cigarettes drink fruit water hell i don't give a fuck just do you but allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have two booze and you're doing for that it truly means a lot to me thank you my lovely gems all right gems we're back with another love reading on who's coming towards you so let's check this get it started yeah, who's coming towards you for three more got three more at the bottom of the deck we got the magician okay we got virgo so somebody is trying to manifest you back into their life okay they want to manifest a relationship with you all right we got charity i don't know what that is charity and hope i thought these was all major arcana yes all right so yeah we got charity we got charity we got hope I thought these was all the major arcanas. We got uh, the Hangman, Pisces, and we got Virgo. So, yeah, um, somebody has been doing some soul searching and soul reflecting. They've been reflecting on the situation a lot. Ever since this relationship has been stagnant, suspended up in the air, not going nowhere, they've been seeing things with this Hangman here in a different perspective now, okay? And now they got hope and faith that you guys will be back together, all right? They're trying to manifest you back into their life now because they got a whole lot of hope and faith. And they're ready to be chaired. They're ready to um uh to be giving towards the relationship. All right. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah, you withdrew your feelings. Feelings. From this connection to heal from a difficult situation. Yeah, we got dating and romance. Yeah, so this person has a lot of hope. They, they ready to date, you know what I'm saying? Because they still got a lot of romance for you. Like I said, they trying to manifest you back into their life because they're seeing things in a different perspective now. They're ready and they have a whole lot of hope and faith. Okay, this person is very, this person is extroverted. Okay, very outgoing. All right. Yeah, they ready to make a commitment. All right. Uh, some of you guys could be married because they look like they married. Or just in a long, was in a long-term committed relationship. Or they may just want to marry you. I mean, just apply to your life how it may fit. Yeah, um, like I said, you, uh, you withdrew your feelings from a difficult situation due to some secrets that this person had. That was revealed to you. Yeah, now this person has learned their lessons. Like I said, they're seeing things in a different perspective. They've been soul searching and self-reflecting, reflecting on the situation a lot. And they gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of lessons. Okay? Now they're seeing things in a different perspective. Karma bit their ass in the ass. Okay, yeah. They learned their lesson after they betrayed you. Okay, there was some type of betrayal. Uh, due to some secrets that cause a lot of heartbreak and pain. Okay, but now this person wants a commitment. They want you to trust them now. They're ready for you to trust them. Because like I said, they're finally seeing things in a different perspective. You know? And they're being very hopeful that they can manifest you back into their life. They're ready to be giving towards this connection. They're ready to be generous. Okay, they're ready to make you a priority in their life. All right, first priority. Like I said, some of you got a family. There's a family on this card. Some of you have a family together with this person. Okay, y'all probably even cook together. Or they probably cooked. Maybe you worked a lot and they cooked. Okay, but yeah, this person sees you as their life partner. Like I said, some of you guys were married or in a long-term committed relationship. If not, this person sees you as a life partner. They want to um, settle down with, marry and settle down with. Yes, they do. Okay, so you will be getting an unexpected message from this person due to some types of toxic to toxicity they had. All right, they're ready to compromise. All right, and they're ready to take action. They're ready to reconcile and move forward. Okay, 
Yeah, but you relax, you chilling, okay? You got your, you, you, you could be chilling at the beach with your legs all cocked up and shit. All right? But yeah, you could be also relaxing, chilling now because your finances is straight. And this person has been longing for you, all right? They've been longing for you after dealing with a karmic partner, all right? Mm -hmm. This person has been uh, a secret admirer. They've been admiring you from a distance behind the scenes and they're ready to communicate with you and reconcile and celebrate getting back together yes they do they want a fresh start with you yes they do because they finally got some clarity all right they've been listening to their inner child yes they have let's see what they want to tell you well let's just use these cards i made these cards today i hope you guys like them I'm gonna start making my own. I'm gonna make my own uh, tarot cards and shit. Cause a lot of my subscribers want these cards and told me that I should do it. So I'm really, I am gonna be doing that, and I will be making these cards as well. So be on the lookout. I will be selling them. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, for some of you, it's new love coming your way, all right? This old person is coming, and the new love is coming your way, okay? Mm -hmm. I should have told you the truth. So this person felt that they should have told you the truth, okay? Because you found these secrets out on your own. And it broke your damn heart. Now they, you know what I'm saying? Now they feeling... They hurt you. Like I said, they've been so re they've been self-reflecting on the situation a lot. And, and now they felt that they should have told you the truth. This is why they're seeing things in a different perspective. Okay? And they're being divinely guided to you. And also this new love could, is divinely guided to you as well. Okay, so it's two people. So it's it's two different people. Oh, there ain't nothing on this card. Hold on. Let me get you another card. We got, would you please forgive me? So this person wants, is looking for your forgiveness, okay? Because like I said, they learned a lot of lessons. They learned, um, they've been reflecting on the situation a lot. And they're ready to be generous towards the connection. And they're feeling very hopeful that they can manifest you back into their life. Okay? They're ready to make you a priority. They want you to trust them after this portrayal. Let's see who this is. who this is, Harpo, who this is, even though it's whoever you're dealing with, all right, we got Venus, Taurus, Libra, we got Saturn, Capricorn, Aquarius, we got Mars, Aries, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Jupiter, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Scorpio. Let me get you an advice card and I'll leave it here. This is the power of love that. Oh, did I turn this one over? Oh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. My bad, I didn't even see that. I need to put something else on this card. That blank card. Alright, we got patience. You are able to let the universe energy of transformation move according, accordingly to its own loving rhythm. Let me read it for you and I'll leave it here. Patience. Patience is a virtue. 
Patience. When you demonstrate patience, you are able to take a step back from the distractions of the physical dimension and live fully in the current moment. You are a truly divine being, and when you when you reside in your natural state and centeredness and calm, your perceptions and awareness are perceptions and awareness are illuminated. You become painfully aware of how much pre precious energy can be wasted and misused in the service of fear, anxious anticipation of the future. Instead, as a healer, you need to take a negative energy. You need to take the negative energy of impatience and transmute it into joy of knowing that all things happen at the correct time. As you move through life, it may help to remember that difficult situations are merely opportunities for you to put the power of love into practice. It is a challenge. It is challenging enough on the earth plane to understand the behind the scenes workings of this three dimensional world, let alone trying to comprehend or control the six and seven dimensional realities within the divine order. But being open to change and knowing it will occur is its own, in its own time is the highest example of patience. You learn to press the pause button on your reactions to life's upsets. Don't fast forward your life because you will rush through it. You will miss the most significant moments. Life is not a race, it's a journey. In order to bring peace to the outside world, you must find you must first real life patience in your inner world. Good things come to those who wait. All right, me love. So I'm gonna leave it here. And if this resonated with you guys, Go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck long. She take heed to the message. Take heed to the message. All right, me loves. So thanks for watching. Until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.